Welcome back to the Amateur Hour podcast. I got that nailed, mate. Trust yeah. me. I got that nailed. Episode 15. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching us lovely people on your screens or in your ears. I hope you're all good. We have got a big one. We've got to be talking about PCA. We're going to be talking about two bros pro qualifier, which we went through our predictions last week, seeing if uh, seeing if we went through those, going through some controversy as well. And then we had the Arnolds over in Brasilia. Mate, so it's you're gonna forgetting be... the fucking Granite City, bro. Oh, bro, I was gonna go through the mate. That's the bit. That's the pinnacle. I was leading up that's to it with the Arnold. Yeah, Arnold's Brazil, and then like you know Granite City. I don't know if you guys oh. have heard it, but it's the pinnacle of bodybuilding, just shy of the Olympia. But um, yeah, man, Granite City this weekend. Wow, we'll get it out of the way, mate. I am. It's very man. I was stoked, mate. Genuinely, yeah. I was. Um, don't get me wrong, mate. I was in the gym and I was on the phone to Calvin, my friend, who was there as well at the show looking over Lewis for me. And it, it kept running behind me. And it was, I'm going to go on stage like 20 to 1. And then it weren't on stage till 2 o'clock. I'm thinking, oh my Lord, I should have known by now. And um, yeah, man, found out he won. And um, yet yeah, on the money, mate. None of this 75% brought him in a little bit. No. No, 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 no. I've been seeing a bit of that as well. I see you, Granite, pe- <laughs> Granite City people. Yeah, send that to your coach. No, bring him in a touch flatter so we can bring him in fuller next week. What? Why would you... It's the biggest... It's the first biggest show on the Scottish calendar. You're not going to bring your clients in anything less than 100%. Just admit and they, that you just, fucked up. Just admit mate, it. Just admit... Okay, yeah, he came X place, right? It's not just in... What the class that Lewis is in, I'm seeing it all over the gaff. Yeah. Oh, we got PCA next weekend. That's the main one. No, it's not the. It is. That might be the main one. But you want to make a statement, mate, because there'll be people there who are going to be at PCA, mm-hmm. and you, yeah, obviously a week, seven days, back to back peaks is pretty difficult. But it's all relative. You're going to bring someone in 100 percent then, and you know what? You want to bring somebody 100. percent I'm not having Lewis prep in 23 weeks for yeah. me to be like. We're going to be t- holding us back now, mate. 80%, 100% for one show. No, mate. I'm going to be having him 100% for both shows, or at least try my best to anyway. Yes. And when they just try and justify it, they just try and justify the fact that he came in a little bit flat, or he was just soft. Just admit it, mate. Just, just tell us. You fucked just up. Just tell us, mate. It's fine. We're not going to judge you. No. Fine, we can come, we can stroke your hair, we can make you feel better, <laughs> right? <laughs> if you have any hair. But it's just annoying, mate. Because I, I, I wouldn't, if it was Lewis came second, third, fourth, mate, I would. I brought him in 100%. I'm not going to be, okay, he came fourth, so I'm going to make a little thing of him being 75% or whatnot, or played it safe, or did this, did that, looking for next week, or the no, mate, I'm not about that. I'm not having my client diet now for that long for me to bring him in a touch softer or not. No, 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 no. That might be detrimental. It might, I don't know, but I can't do it, mate. I cannot physically not try my best knowing, like, okay, unless it was like, um, for example, like a two bros, um, sort of equation where you've got the, um, oh, okay. yeah, and then you've got the, like, if you go, like, obviously you want to be the best for two weeks, get the qualification, then go. That's the only sort of scenario that I probably held, held back on. But then if you sit like back to back shows, it's their first show season. I want them to look back going, I nailed that show and I nailed that show. Don't know, mate. It's just, and it was a lot of first time I was there as well. So they were like, oh, God. No, mate, I'm sorry. I'm not having any of it. The show, the show looked good. Like the, the venue, the, the lighting. Compared to... Yeah, no, of course. Compared to, compared, to, compared to Fit Milf, whatever it is. That <laughs> was... Mate, I was... The crowd was... Fiona, um, Lewis's um, other half, was uh, actually live-streaming it for us. Sick. Um, Mate, it was going off, mate. The guy was like... <laughs> well, as soon as it, mate, as soon as it went down, mate, Straight up, he was like, "Come on, then, let's see." I'm like, "Fair play, guest poses, mate." Um, so, you had, yeah, a few guest poses, like four or five guest poses there, which is great. The fucking announcer guy had his like top hat and his... hey, he is the top hat, mate, looking like a big yeah, wizard. Yeah. I was thinking, bro, mate, he was posing with the winners. Honestly, mate, it looked like a real good, um, real good fun, that's and everyone good, was like, "It's probably the best show, best show." Yeah, it was like quite, it was quite nice, mate. So that's what you want for your first show, though, isn't it? A lot of people's first yeah. show there it was like a nice environment. The host was 
honestly fantastic and it was just a real a really well run show considering how, um, saying... how did he do in the overall so obviously i saw that he won his class and i know that the overall was like big like bigger guys he said but um... yeah bro so oh uh, we'll, if you want to get, we'll go for have you got have you got pit, uh, has he posted anything of it yeah i think um i'll go through the, I'll, I'll send you the overall man the overall guy is very very good actually um his name is chris bain and i'll send you a picture over on instagram mate he, He's he's very good, mate. He's very very good. Um, what's I'll his what's you, his Instagram? Literally, I'll send you over it now, man, so oh, you can okay. see. But um, yeah, man, he's very, honestly very very good. But in my opinion, it was it was between him and Lewis to be honest. To be honest, that's what that's that's, that's, another, that's actually a really good guy there. Um, some some natty guy who who's like um a P a P P N A C Pro or something. Um, but one second, mate. Mate, it says uh. There, there you go. go. I've got, there you go, bro. I've got you. I've got you, bro. I can read your mind. So this was the overall winner, mate. There with the top hat. Look at the guy with the top hat, mate. He was honestly, he was good, man. That's Lewis in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you keep swiping, look far mate, off, it's just more muscle and like that, mate, that's but that's the case. I mean, this guy is um, this guy usually wins quite a lot of shows, man. Like as you can see, he's came in real well. So um, but yeah, with um with Lewis, mate, as you can see, if you click on Lewis's profile there. It should be up there, bro. Yeah, mate. Right, so thanks. happy with this look, bro. In, so bro. happy with this, man. Nah, it looks wicked, mate. Is it yeah. this juniors, yeah? Yeah, man. Those are the top three there. So that was... Top three here. Cool. Um, Connor on the right. And then that was Logan on the left and Lewis in the middle. So it went... Lewis first, Logan on the left second, and then Connor on the right. But honestly, for... Great junior lineup. There were six of them there. It was real good. Um, but yeah, I think I got told that like Lewis didn't drop a point or something between I'm all not, eight bro, I'm not surprised. Looking at him, obviously these are just like iPhone pictures, but like, bro, the condition level looks different compared, like different level compared to these other boys. Like the muscularity is pretty similar between these two. Mm -hmm. like, Lewis has got more, but it's not far off. But the condition that's come through on his legs, and I'm assuming from the back as well. Oh, mate, the back ridiculous thank you bro but the, the, the guys left and right of him have real good shape mate like they are yeah. and they are really good junior athletes like logan's shape is ridiculous but when it comes to like lewis yeah. is just lewis like is a freak mate he came in i peaked him to like 82 kilos he would have dropped off a little bit of fluid from obviously drying him out so maybe like 81 80, 80 kilos i didn't get him to weigh himself on show day but mate he's like seven kilos down the whole prep and he's like this <laughs> yeah that's fucking mental that's really so, but yeah, man, great athletes. I've, I've now followed them both now. I won't it's a really, really anymore. good standard, man, for the juniors. Mate, real good, mate. Real good, real good quality show, mate. Obviously, all the people that were probably competing here will probably compete in PCA next weekend. So it was really, really good. But um, yeah, got got first, and then in the overall, like held it really well, mate. This is him. That he woke up. Um, that was the night before. Man. This was the actual morning, mate. I think yeah, I morning. Know. This is the morning, mate. Where. I, I was like, yeah, this is good. <laughs> this is good. But um but a deep, mate. Mate, it's it's mad, isn't it? It's mad. But I've never seen somebody shift fluid, mate, as quick as him, genuinely. Like he I, I spilt him on the second day of load and I was like, That's, this is good. And then he woke up like sort of flat again. I'm thinking, oh my god. Like but um but yeah, man. I, I was I was real happy, mate. Real, real happy. And um it's always nice when you compete against like good, like nice juniors as well. Like, yeah, no, of course. They all, get, they all get along well by the looks of it anyway. They're all like shouting each other out. It makes the whole like experience just better, mate. Most definitely. And I could see that from watching the live stream, mate. Like, they're all sort of like patting each other and like hyping each other up, which is pretty decent to see. So it's an, but that's, I think the federation sort of set that tone. If it's sort of like, like well ran and like it's all like good, good energy, then it's going to portray that on the, like, the athletes there as well. So, mate. Yeah. Quality weekend, like the first proper win for me as a coach. Um, yeah, that's sick, mate. And yeah, man, it was decent. So we're just going to do going up to PCA Scotland next weekend. And yeah, then, we'll Scotland, from, sick. then we'll go from there, mate. But yeah, anyway, enough of me, bro. I hate talking about me. How's your week? Uh, how's your week? Got the usual Connor review. Yeah, mate, just. Bro, actually, hold on. Right. So obviously last week touched on starting a diet. And also the tooth as well, bro. Yeah, <laughs> bro. So the diet has been like, 
I've dropped a fuckload of weight because the fucking two days after I had to get this tooth pulled out, I was on liquid liquid diet for fucking 48 hours. Um, so I was having whey protein. I was eating yogurt and um, fucking uh, sickly dextrin, which right. was shit. So I dropped fucking loads. Um, but yeah, no, essentially, I've got the tooth somewhere, but it's gross, bro. We... I saw it, mate. It was like a, it was like a dog's, dog's tooth. Bro. Like a, a dog's tooth. Mate. Yeah. Bro, I so basically I'm registered to a dentist in London, right? So which is NHS covered, whatever. So I called them after I went to this emergency one here. I was like, look, they've just quoted me X amount of money. Would I be able to come to you and get it done for free? And they were like, Yeah, sound. But you can't book in for a couple uh, like they said until July, but they might be able to get me an emergency meeting. Um, emergency appointment within the next week or two. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll wait and do that. Like, the pain is not that bad. And then the next night, we were sat here, me and Lucy, and I was like, maybe like 11 p.m., 10 p.m. And I was sat here and I was like, I am in fucking so much pain. I was like, I, I need to get it out. Like, I need to get the fucking tooth out. It's, in, it's horrible. So we called this emergency dentist again and was like, can I come in like right now? And he was like, yes, come in. You might have to wait for a bit. I got there waited for about an hour and a half. So I ended up them having to pull the tooth out at about 1, 1 a.m., 1.30 a.m. And it was, bro, the, I think he did like four injections into my gum to make the tooth, like to make the area numb. And to be fair to him, it was sound because I didn't feel anything. But like he, I saw one, I saw the needle going in my mouth, eyes closed straight away because it was about this long. And then I saw the clamp that he had to use to like get on my tooth and yank it out. And it was like, just grabbing a pair of fucking pliers or something. Um, Lucy sat in the room. I'm just there with my eyes closed like this. But uh, I hope I'm the same. For about the same, five bro. minutes, he's just yanking at my tooth, like with pure power. Wasn't moving, wasn't budging. And then just one yank, and I felt the whole thing just go like straight out the gum. And then all, obviously I had my eyes closed, and I couldn't feel anything on this side of my mouth. But... Um, all I feel because my eyes are still closed is people just wiping my face. So loads of blood just must have come out and just like gone everywhere. Oh, so, mate. Bro, it was disgusting. And it was fucking 400 quid. Bro, I mean, I think it's worth uh, it. Is, it was, was worth it. Bad. Bro, I, it was so because the pain's pretty much gone. It, all, all that hurts now is just my jaw. Um, yeah, I get you. They said What's that the one? price yeah, Probably oh. get like KO from a spanner or something. Yeah. He was like, oh, it'll be hurting probably for like a week or two weeks um, while the whole heal's over. It just feels like I've been punched in the fucking face. But um, so, yeah, he was like, oh, no, no training uh, or like, at least no training hard um, so that like loads of blood goes to it. It could just reopen it. I was like, cool, that's fine. Um, and yeah, liquid diet for 48 hours. I messaged Tom. I was like, mate, I know you wanted weight drops, but you're going to get a fuckload of weight drops now because this is this is what's happening. He was like, all right, not ideal, but is what it is. It's fine. I was like, cool. We went to Wales for the weekend uh, to see Lucy's family, mm -hmm. which was cool. We ended up, we went to that gym that that guy trains at, the one that we looked at, the Welsh guy. I can't remember his name. Yes. Um... It's the double L. I can't remember what you ended up saying. Oh, the, mate, I want to, I don't want to I know, you know who I mean. I'm going gonna, gonna to go the line, mate. Yeah. <laughs> so we, up, uh, we went to that gym that he trained at. Um, which is pretty fucking cool. Mate, it's it's a good gym, isn't it? Um, what's Ooh. it called? Yeah. Um, end zone. Yeah, that end, was, yeah. Um, muscle and fitness, or end, or just end zone fitness, I think. Mm. Um, decent little gym. Like, no one works there, so it's just like a you pay for it on your phone, and they give you a code to let you in. Um, oh, sound. Yeah, it's wicked, wicked little gym. Um, and yeah, back back we got back yesterday. Uh, yesterday, what day is it today? It's Monday. Uh, yeah, we got back yesterday. Back training today. Training felt. Felt pretty weak, to be fair, just because of like I haven't really eaten much. Mate, um, and as well with the weight drop as well. And weight, weight drop. But yeah. So I was like, oh, I'll go in with um like a higher volume approach rather than just like slamming weight. Which works pretty well. Like I say weak. I felt decent. I got the 60 kilo dumbbells for I think 18 reps and then two like shitty reps. And then I got the 47.5s for like 19 paused reps, which was sick. So Man. I was all right, but I'm, the one thing I'm trying to not do is close my mouth when I'm like cl clench my teeth when I'm trading because I just bro, I'm like sat there with the dumbbell with my mouth wide open like ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cool, bro. Um, uh, what? Call it your own, mate. 
Yeah, literally, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Anything to do that I can't. Oh, basically, he told me that I should wear a gum shield. And I was like, I'm not going to wear a gum shield. So I'm just going to. At least you're honest, mate. I'm, I'm, yeah, well. I'm going to train with my mouth open, mate. Like, I can, I can keep my teeth apart with my mouth closed. So I'm just doing that for now. But I'm going to end up biting my fucking tongue off, man. Yeah, that's funny, that is, mate. Yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> Connor's got his mouth open again. Yeah, Connor. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to start Connor's throwing shit in my mouth, bro. It'd be uh, good for a spot, though, mate. Imagine, like, if, like yeah. open your mouth when you've got two reps left. Yeah, literally. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, other than that, mate, everything's been been pretty chilled. Um, clients are closing in. Uh, we've got Alex, who's 11 weeks out, just under now. Mate. Um, he's, he's getting in, which is cool. Finally starting to see some movement. And some big movements, like he's dropping almost a kilo and a half. A yeah, man, I was gonna say, mate, you like never kilo drop. I'm thinking, mate, he's dropping a lot. Um, so I've seen him. I'm, I've got a client meet up this weekend, so see him there. Have a look. Probably will have a look at filling him up a little bit, just give him a little bit of fuel. Uh, mm-hmm. Got some other boys. Uh, Jacob is out. Is is about if Alex is 30, uh, 11 weeks out. I think Jacob is thirteen or twelve weeks out. Man, uh, that's exciting, man. So excited, yeah, man. Mate. Fucking sick. I'm buzzing for it, man. It's come around quick because I was like, yeah. After watching what you've done with Lewis, I'm like, mate, I cannot. I mean, it's because, like, mate, I remember being like eight weeks ago. Oh, yeah, Lewis is eight weeks out. Yeah, five weeks out. And I think, mate, it's already been in gone, mate. Like, it's crazy how quick Mental. it goes. It's yeah. crazy how quick it goes. But um, now, nah, mate, when you'll find that like the last ten weeks, it's weird. Like in the moment, it goes so slow. Like, mate, in peak week, I was like, I can't wait to just like see him on stage. Yeah. And it was like Monday, Tuesday. So, oh my god! This <laughs> week, right. mate, this week, I want it to fly by. Like, okay, it's Tuesday already. I'm going to Scotland on Friday. He's on stage or something. So, nah, I'm, I'm excited for sure, mate. But yeah, and Alex has changed rapido. The yeah. last time I was talking to him, actually, so he's excited. Quite meet up. Everything's going yeah. well, mate. But anyway, shall we go? P- shall we go in that order? Should we go PCA? PCA? Should and we go PCA? Up. Yeah, we'll do that. Wait. So, um, good stat. Better stand than the first timers. I believe. Yes. But the, the um, lesson, oh, can we skip over this, bro? <laughs> the juniors, man, was such a letdown, bro. If I competed in this junior shirt, I, I might have actually won. And that's saying something. <laughs> bro, it really pissed me <laughs> off. When Tom this, Taylor this, might this have won a won shirt. It. This kid who won it, yeah. Um, Elliot, I'm pretty sure his name is. I know him, not like personally, but like I've, I know him from the grow room when I used to train there. And like, bro, I've seen him be leaner than this before. And it's like, bro, what are you doing? Like, just get leaner. Um, right. Maybe maybe they're waiting for the fucking universe, but like, fucking hell, man. No, mate. This this other guy competed last week at PCA, or the week before, whenever that first time this was, and he looked way better last time. I think Pete... Wrong, like, like, back-to-back peaks can be hard, but I think when you have that week in between, mate, there is no reason why you can't come in, like, if not better, but the same, at least. Like, there's no reason why, mate. And when when I looked at when I and I, I admit I've never looked at a junior. This is the first junior lineup that I've been like, okay, I might have actually done pretty well. Obviously, there's two, stuff, and that's me. You know, mate, it probably won't. We probably weren't good, mate. Yeah, yeah, that that standard kind of pissed me off a little bit. Um, moving swiftly on. But by the way, they're not. Oh, by the way, they're, no, they're not bad. Was, they're not bad. It was just the fact of like. <sighs> It's not bad though, mate. It's, I think it's just, it's just like, I, bro. In my in my opinion, I think he's probably at this look, maybe six weeks out. Five I, weeks I was out. I was thinking I was thinking the same thing. But the reason why I've, the reason why I'm saying the condition isn't isn't the best is because I'm comparing to like last year's standard. Yeah, of course. Okay, I always go Gillen. Like I know everyone's like the start of this completely unrealistic. Like Kieran Youssef, the guy like. These people who came in, like, peeled and then got better and just the show went, like, it's just, I I, I, I don't know. I, I, I got on stage off the first time and I was like, I need to be better. So I got leaner, obviously. But it's more the fact of, like, I don't know. I just feel like, yeah. yeah. It's he's just probably, like, he's, just... Leaning through the, he's leaning through the legs, but it's just, yeah. Yeah, man. No. Well done, though, for getting on stage. Well, fair play. Fair um, play. This is the novice pose down. Yeah, the Scottish guy one. The guy in the green trunks. 
this guy here, mate. Have you seen this comment? If I was flexing on stage and someone got in my way, I'd make them bleed on the floor. Jesus. Mate, what's that, what's that reply? It's, it's a hose now, fella. <laughs> mate, why do people get so like, butt hurt about like, does, does anything get in front of you? Just move. Oh, it's funny that, isn't it? Just move out of the way. Um, um, so this is the fourth place. Not bad. Yeah, like, but novice, mate. mate. Novice is that's not bad at all. That's how you think for a novice show. It's not actually not bad at all. Well, we've got fucking so much to talk. Oh about. Oh my lord! Yeah, I know he he went in. My man was. <laughs> we'll um, we'll yes, skip man. over most of it and then talk about like the the main ones, and then obviously yeah. we've got quite a few shows to cover. Um, Damn the man! That, that... He looks all right, man. Good stage presence. PCA love well, that. When you're clapping, bro, Pete, uh, Pete, mate, PCA love that, mate. Yeah. When you set, like, when you set like, a good stage presence, they love that. Do you know what pisses me off when people don't wear their trunks in the right place? Mate. they're literally meant to go up this line here. Like there was a kid, there was a kid, in my, dead uh, straight. <laughs> yeah, there was a kid last year in um in the Birmingham show that I did last year, mate, and he's they were nearly off. You could see his butt crack, bro. Like genuinely, I was there, like. Yeah, it won't. Mate, it's fair, good condition. Oh no, but more on the glutes and hammers, but yeah. Good, more muscle. Good muscle. Yeah. Good muscle. Muscular through the rear. Yeah, this guy obviously yeah. well. No, he looks really good. I'm pretty sure he's coached by oh, who is it? I saw Prep, someone from him. Prep uh, Coach UK? Is that is, is I was saying that's the man. There's the man. So I'm guessing might be actually yeah. that guy. Oh, yeah, I think I'm thinking of someone else. No, he looks good, man. He's, he's good condition, novice show. Um, yeah, man. Well, great. Glutes are almost very, in. Very decent. I think he can he competed at the two bro show uh, at the qualifier when I was there. I remember his. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. So it's good to see him uh, win a PCA show. Good man. So uh, should we? Oh, this is going to be so long going through every fucking reel. Yeah, mate. It's, um, okay. Let's just go. Let's just skip to Derek. Yeah, let's just go to Derek, mate. We've got Riz the engineer as well, though. We came second. We'll have a look at Riz. Um, so yeah, Derek, mate, bang in first place. First so class, good. First class win, I think he said on his Instagram. To make two years ago, I think I don't think he actually um he he didn't place two years ago. So yeah. so much better. Look at his hamstrings, glutes. I can't get over the quads, mate. It's an absolute madness. Yeah, quads are wicked. It's just the posing, mate. The posing and the stage presence is so good. Yeah. I want to know what song he did it to. PC, he did it to, I think it was the June song. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, I've put, Derek, I know you watch this, mate. I swear, I do read your posts, bro. <laughs> I do read your posts. Um, well, I yeah, think yeah, it, yeah, Jeremy put that. I'm assuming. Yeah, that. yeah. I'm, I'm going to make a route. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to make a routine to the June soundtrack. So there we go. I think it is. That's so sick, mate. Um, and then, yeah, so Riz came second. Big I, I, from, from seeing the photos, mate, I knew it was between those two straight away. Um, but I think Derek just hold a little bit through more through the quads. Just the overall shape. But actually, probably the overall shape that's got him there, to be honest. Um, yeah. Um, great, mate. This guy's got a great rig. Oh, Riz looks wicked, man. I'm pretty great sure he, he's coached by Martin, isn't he? I think, yeah, he is coached by Martin, yeah. No, he looks really good. Yeah, look, glutes, hamstrings. Yeah, I think it's just as over Derek's probably overall shape going through there. Because they look the same sort of condition, but from that yeah. anyway. Big Lewis with the classic. Mate, oh. It was close because obviously the, the overall winner from the first time we showed Tom, the junior, uh, who well, the, he came second to um to Lewis here. Did he do classic? But, yeah, bro, he did classic. There he is, mate. Look. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, he did classic. Got that. I thought he did bodybuilding. Yeah, man. So Fair play to the guy. Came in real yeah. well. But, and he said, obviously, if you lose to somebody, mate, like, you don't mind losing to Lewis. He's like, what, multiple champion, won, won a show before. So, and he's just. No, Lewis, Lewis looked really, really good here, man. Um, I'm excited to see sort of the rest of the season, bro. Yeah, definitely. He's what's way, what's way, cool is obviously, way, like, he is coaching himself alongside his brother, Leon. Like, Leon and, and himself are kind of just doing it themselves. Which mate, is... rate that highly. Looks full, looks good, mate. Good balance. Lewis doesn't Lewis just doesn't even if he's flat, he's he's full. Do you know mate, what I mean? this is what mate, he just has that sort of pop to him, mate, where he can just come in and just be full. <laughs> or have the 
have the sort of effect that he is for. But mate, as you can see, mate, class. Yeah, so good. Killed it, man. Um, I rate that highly. Um, keep going up, mate. Keep. Oh, there he is. The overall winner. This is the pose down for bodybuilding short. This guy is sick. So, well, he's not sick, but he's he's good. That was rude. Um, Sammy. So he trains at Kings. He is coached by Jake Watts. Um, his most muscular from the front is fucking sick. Like he's got mate, great, great, great shape, mate. Really good muscle bellies on him. Um, and he gets in decent condition as well. Like I'm pretty sure he was leaner last year, from what I remember. But that's like I I could be completely wrong there. Um, from the front, he's he's really really. Mate, look, it's just bro, Ryan is is a joke. Mate, it's 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 quads, mate. It's just ridiculous. He posted a shot of him just obviously. I think with that that shot there, mate, the most muscular. Like, do you know what I mean? Mate, he looks he looks phenomenal, mate. Um, I think the individuals are here somewhere. So that that most muscular there, I think he suits that really, really well. Definitely, he's got Definitely. great insertions with his quads. Mm-hmm. Fucking decent V taper from the front as well. Mate, he, he's, mate honestly, I, I saw this guy. I was like, you know what? It is decent. Maybe more hamstring from the side, but mate, to be fair, great rig. Yeah, great rig. Yeah, no, he he killed it. Um, and then yeah, so this is Ryan's individual. Wait, mate, see his glutes when ham his glutes and hamstrings were in. Glutes are clean. Hands were from didn't... the back, from the side. They looked a little bit off, but not yeah, off, like, they just didn't have as much detail. From it's the just because I'm comparing it to his quads, mate. <laughs> his I'm quads also I'm also creepy. comparing it to his brother. <laughs> so I'm like, oh yeah, mate, it's not, it's hard. Not... But look at his quads, mate. Yeah, come on, man. Like look at his cross striations in his quads. Yeah, he looks ridiculous. That most muscular that he does is is sick. Yeah, it is great shape. I think if I was being picky, I'd just say more arms, like bigger arms. Yeah, um, but that's just being picky, man. That's just nuts, man. That shot, yeah. great rig. Um, and then I think it just goes on to the masters, and then obviously the women mm-hmm. and men's physique. Men's physique was all right, mate. The junior guy just was pure, just men's physique, but like, for PCA anyway. Just like, as you can see yeah. on the left. Him, yeah, as you can see, yeah, yeah, Reese, Reese, Reese is current, yeah, he's good, man. I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I think he might be if he's Reese's client, he's done, he's done well, like, came in real well, like, great shape. No, he was really good. good, sharp from the rear, you can see already. Mm-hmm. Probably could spread out it's, a bit more there. Bro, but... The thing is, with juniors, when you look at most of them. It's one of two things or both. It's either more conditioned, more muscle, or both. Yeah, literally, that's it. But I'd rather be, I'd rather be having just more muscle. Yeah, you came in conditioned. You can show yourself you got legit condition for you, you your muscularity. No, I'm just need to see more. Um, but yeah, men, men's physique was all right, mate. Like I don't, I didn't really see anyone there that was like sort of blowing me away, to be honest. But. Um, the wellness uh, girl was really, really good for the top right one there. I think she's coached by oh. that was bikini. She that was a bit on the right there, bro. Um, second yeah, place, so James Decker, the one next anyway. The one next one, but yeah, she was very good, very good. Okay, I think she won the overall in the end. Oh, really? Yeah, great shape. Yeah. Sick man. Yeah. No, the standard looked all right, man. For the for the women. Because I remember Lucy was showing me um Yeah, my client Shah was showing me. Show me I can't yeah. Know. That's a, she's honestly mate, she's great shape to her. Yeah. Holly, well done. Um, and that was the junior bikini girl who won um who won last week? I think she won again in the junior bikini as well. Yeah, the old oh, ladies' junior bikini first place. Yeah, she won the overall at the first time. Was yes, her posing bugged me, mate. It was so quick. Yeah, why is she? I was just thinking, why is she sprinting towards the front? Like, she's like, literally, say, say, one to and then straight into it. Like, do you think it's just nerves? It must be just nerves. I don't know, man, but it was just like she's just going from like pose to pose to pose to pose. Yeah, it's like, right. But she's very good for a junior bikini, but um. 
Yeah, there it is, mate. But yeah, men's physique. Actually, men's physique guy was was sharp. Yeah, he's good. But yeah, man, that's the uh, that's the winner right there, mate. Bloody lore. She's decent as well. Yeah, man. Mate, it was a good show, mate. It was a good yeah. show. It was it was a better standard than the first time, obviously. But um, sure. yeah, it was it was good. I don't know what the next PCA show actually. I think it was Scotland. PCA is in Scotland next week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cannot wait, mate. But yeah, I think great show. Derek did really, really well. Lewis yeah, came in really, well. really well. It would have been good to see them against each other in like probably the same class, but they would against they would have gone against each other in the overall. So that was probably good to see as well because I was excited to see that. Uh, but I think Derek got into short, and I think Lewis went into tall. When they literally must be near enough the exact same height, like it must have been like an inch or so in it. Yeah. So one must have been at the top of the short, and one must have been at the bottom of the tall. So. It was good to see Lewis get that. Tom looked really good as well. The overall winner for the first yeah. time was that was probably the best class probably of the day. The I'd agree, um, I'd agree with that. The, the, the tall classic that was probably best class just from a standard perspective, but from the male perspective anyway. But the females look real good. The wellness in the bikini as well. So good show as always from PCA. Yeah, moving on to debrief. Seven out of ten. <laughs> yeah, I'd give it about a seven. Six and a half, seven out of ten. Around yeah. That. Um, two bros. So obviously we had the Ben Weeder, which is the pro. Mate, we 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 called it, bro. We called this. We, we said he was coming over to absolutely tear things up. The biggest shock for me, mate, and the reason why I called it a shock was because obviously we had Heck wanting to be Tofton being Tofton. Heck. But, but obviously, that's, mate, that's nothing against Tofton because Tofton's good. But it's like with Heck winning the overall last week or two weeks ago, we were like pretty set on the fact that he would, it would be him versus. The bull, the bull, um, but yeah, I mean, heck, doesn't look bad at all. I, I think Tofton just came in on. Yeah, mate, I saw his uh, updates throughout the week, mate. He just kept getting like sharper and sharper and sharper. Like honestly, getting getting fuller, leaner, fuller. <laughs> but when I saw the backdoor vice, I thought that's hex, one of hex best shots, and the Bavarian bull, absolutely, just my well, honestly, bro. Like I don't know if you can zoom in there. There it is, mate. Like. It's just two very different sort of back doubles. Like Hex got, I think, more roundness to his lats and more bubble and more pop. But the, it's just a it's just a thicker very, density very there, right? It's more there. there. Do you know what I mean? Like just, you just see there's just a bit more there. That's all it is. It's dense from the bottom as well. Yeah, man. It's there. Um I think he could pose his legs a little bit better to make the, the X frame more apparent, but yeah. That's just well, mine. We mine. saw from the front relax, mate, that he was going to win the whole show. It was the first pose. Like, yeah. honestly, mate, he was like... He's so he's tall. Like, <laughs> Unreal. I might call myself the English bull when I'm that size. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when Tofton, I'm that size. Tofton if I really get that size. Yeah, mate, Tofton was great. By the way, Josh, bro, mate, I don't, know if you, I don't know if you'll see this, mate. Absolutely unreal. And I think you made, I think you made the right decision to go there. I think just it's only going to give... Man. It's only going to give him the stage experience against bigger and better, but better people. But you need to understand, man, man's still a junior. Like people need to understand that. But I don't think people are forget. Like people are remembering. That he's people just yeah. yeah. People just look at him as oh, I came fifth in the super heavies. Let's just understand that he's twenty two. He's, he's still a junior. Like, he's younger than me. Yeah. Like and he's what did he weigh on stage? I think it was like two. He was two fifty. He was twenty one pounds up from the first show. Mate, absolutely mental. Mate. Mental and mate, uh, and like yeah, he's probably a little bit softer through some areas, but like realistically, not that much. Yeah, but obviously you got to like sacrifice that a little bit. If you're 21 pounds heavy, but you got to sacrifice somewhere. But to be, if he's against these sort of guys, but you got to come in a little bit fuller. So it's it's worth to take the risk. I think he would have been stupid not to do it. To be honest, I think it was um, a right decision to do it. Yeah, I agree. I agree, bro. Um, have they got pictures? What's this? No, I said, oh. yeah, look at the Bavarian ball there, mate. On the left, the front relax. These, these are the heavyweights, right? So, yeah, that was Hex, uh, not Hex, uh, Martin's other guy, mm -hmm. uh, trained by VK or whatever his name is. Yeah, the glute, cut the glute chaos. It was pretty funny, really. Yeah, yeah, he looks really good, but then in the overall, we'll go to the overall picture in a minute, bro. Bavarian ball, mm -hmm. mate. His it's like his shoulders by like, on it, mate. Look at this. Yeah, he won it by a fucking mile. Yeah, 
he overtook everyone, man. But looking at that, mate, like as you see, that Coughlin's quads are a little bit like a little bit sharper. But then Hex just honestly, mate, I cannot. When he came out, like what two weeks ago now was it, mate? He looked so, like mega, mate. Like it was so good to see him. But um, yeah, man. I obviously, again, he, I didn't think I saw him against Tofton and that, but it was a different story this time round, mate. Different, bro. It, I'd, I'd even say that Tofton's probably got more quad than ball. Well, oh yeah, the... but yeah, definitely. But as you can see, from the top, the guys just yeah, this this Bulgarian bull has bullied him. Yeah, this whole area is ridiculous. Um, I also I don't think this pose suits Josh. I think he should stand up and do it, like because he looks wicked when he does that. Yeah, no, I agree. I uh, agree. Same, same with um, oh, big that? Tom. Tom, that's it, Hemmings. Um, came in sharp though. Tom did. Came in sharp. It looked like he did. Yeah. Yeah, came in sharper. So came, so I much got the muscle on his legs, man. Yeah, he's just different, isn't it? Crazy. But yeah, Bulgarian bull, wow, incredible. And the overall, yeah, this <laughs> is. But people might look at this right. That in person, look, he's bigger. He's taller than the board at the back. <laughs> yeah, bro, like, he's big. He would be huge. Like I don't. Obviously, people watching this will get a perspective, but that in person would have been ridiculous. Yeah, genuinely, it would have been actually laughable. Because because this guy is fucking sick, um, and he just dwarfed him. Like, looks like his dad. He looks like he's just given birth to him. To be fair, it's a very good standard lineup. It's just obviously when you're next to this guy, it's not it's it's, it's not your day. Sorry. Yeah. Um, this guy is pretty sure his name's Danny. Mate, he he's good, mate. Samson. He's re- he got some good training mate. partner. Make great shape on him. I saw yeah. him two weeks ago. He made, he's honestly he's real good, real good. Yeah, it's a really, really good standard lineup, man. Um, as as Nick is putting, super is no yeah. joke. Yeah, he is no joke, mate. Um, so then obviously he takes the fucking card, big shock. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then in classic, we got my man, the fridge, Joe Ballinger. Um, <laughs> I'm joking, Joe. Uh, Joe looks good. I think. I think he's just. I think he's an over bodybuilder. I don't see him being. A I just want him to blow up, mate. He just looks he so, has so much, much better. Let's get blown you. up, mate. I understand he wants. To, well, I'm pretty sure it's because of like health reasons. He wants to not get. Yeah, but I, I understand that. But like, really? I get that. But it's like, bro, he could do so fucking well if he yeah. just. We're not taking away that he's not classic. He he does like hold up. Classic traits he does, but um, like the potential that he has probably in the open division. But then again, obviously, you're not going to push your health to yeah. beef over. Yes, but again, he probably has more chance to have a classic card than an open card, probably at this rate. But he got beat by Leon. I'm going to call yes. him Leon. My man came in so dry, it was go on his personal page, mate. Right? I'm not joking, he posted some pictures from earlier. It is ridiculous. How conditioned he came in compared to two weeks ago. Like, I'm like, it's ridiculous. His recent shots. I think it might, it might be a story, mate. Maybe. The bet there he is. Bro, look at the next one. Yeah. And the next one. Bro. That's ridiculous. Fair fucking play. But you see the fucking leg, mate. I don't know if we spoke about it on this on here. So obviously we reviewed him the first time around. Um, oh yeah, we got re- yeah we got a rewind on that, mate. Yeah, so we reviewed him the first time around. We were like, yeah, he's fucking sick, whatever. Uh, and I'm not taking away like anything because he is. But we, I then went and looked at his page, and just had a, down. another look. Post at his page. Um, there, there. I looked at his quads, and one is extremely smaller than the other one. Whether this is like an injury reason. I don't know, but it might be a posing thing, bro. Like he might be sticking so, his right. So the right one that's bigger there. So obviously it's the left on our side, but the right one that's bigger. He might be actually pointing that out more than the left, as you can see. So um there, mate, I could I could make that argument, but here it looks like it's, it's there, like, mate. It's 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 night and day, bro. It's like what is that? It, yeah, but, it, and once you see it, because I didn't see it, uh, none of neither of us saw it the first time. Once I saw it, I was like, "You can't unsee it." I can't see that now. Um, 
And I mean, we'll have a look at these stage pictures. Did it look that apparent? From this angle, not really. No, because he always poses his right leg in front. So if he like, well, it's, so do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like he he hides it well. As you can see, front leg in front there. He hides it well. Hides it well. He, he, the illusion is there, which is good. He looks really good here, man. Uh, Ballinger there on the right. Look at Ballinger. That's Ballinger, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, man. Decent. Very good, mate. Very, think, very good, Rick. I think Joe has posted because um, I know that Joe's put on his Instagram that they're going again um, in Sweden or something. Um, yeah, man. Sweden's a couple of weeks away. Are going in, in Sweden. Yeah, look, round two in Sweden, two weeks. Round three in Sweden, two weeks. Yeah, he just got he looked, beyond. He looks fucking good. I'm not taking anything away from him. I just, I'd love to see him in open. Mm. Seems to blow. I when I when I think of Ballinger, I think I think I remember I think I saw him do like a front double, um, like yeah, a couple of years ago, like eighteen months ago, and he just genuinely looked massive. But um, and he's big. He is big. I'm not saying I'm not taking big. away, but obviously. He was just way honestly, it was ridiculous. I think it was when he just narrowly missed out on his pro card and the overall from what I like. He's been he's been close a couple of times. Yeah, right? man, he has for sure. He has yeah. for sure, mate. Um, and then so obviously that was classic. Um, where's Brandon Big Brandon? So a fucking really cool story about Brandon, obviously at this show, placing first in his category, winning the overall, winning his pro card. Then went on to do the pro show later that day, and got fucking third. My G, my my, my man beat Craig um, Morton, and Sick. for that to happen, mate, against like a, like a, a guy who obviously won his pro card what two years ago, Craig Morton came third in the Arnold, I think two years ago, Crimp from wrong, third or fourth, mate. But it just goes to show, mate, they're awarding more classic like shape, and it's not just about size anymore, mate. It is about like overall shape. Obviously, they have had some like compared to him to Craig. Craig's heavily muscled, more muscled than Brandon. But with that being said, mate, it just goes to show, doesn't it? They're probably leaning towards more like shape and structure now, which is quite nice to see. So, yeah, he's not posted. He's not he hasn't posted. posted it. And also, bro, he proposed to his missus on stage. What a G! What a G, mate! Genuinely, alpha moves, mate. <laughs> No, he's he's killed it, man. Oh, why is he not posted it tagged? Let me check his tag. Okay, yeah, there's some bits here. So, um, we've got the this was the his... Italian, the, yeah, the Italian guy did the Italian job, so he yeah. he, he, he won. But like, Brandon walked in an amateur, left a pro with a third place placing, yeah, man, thousand dollar check. Well, honestly, mate, it was crazy. Oh, not a bad day at the office, mate. Not, not a bad day at all, bro. Yeah, there it is, mate. Bet he's buzzing. Quads look sick here as well. Mate, his, his side leg, look. His side leg's better than my side leg, and he's kneeling down. Deesh, mate, there he is. Look, we'll go on to that in a second. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, he's... Uh, well done, man. He looks sick. I'm well happy for him. Um, Nailed it. So, yeah, two bros, two bros, two bros, two bros. Nope. I don't think they've posted the men's physique stuff yet with everything else that happened that day, but we will... Yeah, we'll, we'll sort of roll on to that in a second. Um, <laughs> so, let me... It'll be on their tag, I'm sure. Um, I don't know, mate. They apologised, didn't they? They came out saying, oh, mate, Lizzie Ryder. Yeah, so Lizzie, Lizzie got her pro card, which is someone we... That's not Lizzie. Um, someone that we spoke about on the last podcast, I think. Or the 21 one. years old. Natty. Yeah. Pro card, freak of nature, in a good way. <laughs> no, um, he, she killed it. Mental rig, mate. <laughs> look at our help. That, look at the doggo. Poor dog, mate. Put him down. <laughs> <laughs> what's your part of the? What's part of the photo? Yeah, man, that's us. Yeah, coached by Michael Fox, Mike. Great job, mate. Great job. No, really, really, really cool. Twenty-one. 21, Natty, IFU she, Pro she still, Is she still 100% Natty? Do you think? Mate, I, I'm, I'm, but yeah, she definitely is. Defo is, mate. Defo. I can see it from, from the rear shots. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd say, yeah, that looks Natty, but 
it's just adults. But to be fair, mate, like, like that's fucking ridiculous. No, mate, really, really cool, mate. Really, yeah, Mike. Really cool. perfect job, mate. Fantastic job to bring um, her in like that. Right. Good. So, whose account were we just on? Mind of Muscle. Um, we'll find the men's physique pictures through here. So, yeah, he was. Um, what's his name? Man, I keep mankind. Mankind. Yeah. There he is. Uh, there he is. Mankind. Physique. Gerard. There it is. Gerard, mate. This dude, bro. What's a physique, mate? Crazy rig, crazy rig, mate. JT, look, boom. Yeah, man. Jace, another pro card, my man. Yeah. Lee, has he got any actual stage shots? No. No, I don't think so, mate. Hopefully, he's got some tag, but mate, no, mate, what? What's this all about, mate? Not um. No one's posted, bro. You just turned pro. Post them pro, mate. It just isn't even post any. Maybe he's waiting for the um for the professional ones. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I swear, I'd probably hold off as well, to be honest. Mate, ridiculously good. Ridiculous. Yeah, well, we 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 went for well, Heck was wrong. Obviously, he came third. Yeah, there. But we weren't surprised if Bavarian ball did well. No, we were pretty yeah. on the money. We we said it would be Heck or uh, Yeah. Uh, and then we got the rest right. Yeah. We got, we got the, rest. the rest right. Tick, 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 which is good. But now, nah, fantastic. So, fantastic. The basically, if anyone by now doesn't know, I'd be surprised. But the controversy that happened at Two Bros that day was, I don't, to be honest, yeah, I'm going to put this out first. I don't want to go into it too much because I don't want to get banned from Two Bros. Um, but, I was going to say, well, I'm not, yeah. I'm just going to go off the facts. The I'm, facts I'm of what was said. Saying what was said. I don't know. I don't know who to believe. We're relaying what's been said. Top six Olympian. I'm pretty sure he was sixth place. Michael De Bull. Pretty fucking sick bodybuilder. Pretty sick classic physique guy. Well, he's one of the best um, English bodybuilders in terms of classic, like him. Ever, yeah. Cold. So, um, so he was at this show for his missus was competing. Um and I, I don't follow him on Instagram, but I... I don't as well, mate, but I had to watch his stories after so I, I saw I saw all of his stories after, like, all of this had come out. So I went back and had a look. And so basically what, what happened was he was at the show, took a picture of the stage and, like, the, the setup in the, in the leisure centre and just said, look, you're paying 65 to come in and watch a pro show, which only had one category. So it's just a classic physique pro show. And there was about four or five competitors in it. And he had to pay 65 to go watch it and then had to pay more money to watch his missus. So he was complaining about the price and then he compared it to the price that you pay to go watch the Arnold's and how much better the Arnold's is in terms of venue and, and Mm -hmm. show set up essentially. Um, So he was, was, was rambling on about that on his stories, just saying it's a bit shit. And uh, he said, he said UK bodybuilding is going backwards. Yes. Yeah. 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 He did Uh, say that said something about the promoters and kind of slating them a little bit and then like be careful with who you sign up with like taking oh, yeah, it seems to be going backwards i don't want to say that it says it seems to be going oh, backwards be, be careful yeah all that sort of stuff and yeah, i was yeah, like yeah. Um, <laughs> and, then, and then like the next story along was him with a black eye in hospital black saying, eye so I, broken I, this is what happens when you say something about a bodybuilding show in the UK. Um, and he's talking about, oh, he got a broken rib, partially broken nose, fucked up eye. Um, and he basically says that he got jumped by four of the security guards at the, who, who work for two rows at the, at the event. Yeah. Which is a little bit mad because he was claiming that the show was over, fully over, in his words, and he asked if he could go backstage to talk to, to the contestants uh-huh. to say where I am and like talk to her. And they essentially, one guy apparently said, yes, you can go. Obviously the show's over. And then when he got back there, four other guys jumped on him and started fucking him up. Um, who were apparently a part of the security team for Two Bros. Now, we don't know the facts. We weren't there. We didn't see anything. So we can't say anything. But 
he's stating that two of them have been arrested and the the other two have been looking have been looked for or whatever and they've got cctv for cctv footage he's uh, pressing charges mate he's pressing so he's charges got, that's like he's pressing charges so it's like it's a bit he's not going to do that if he's obviously not he's lying, to yeah. or in the way that obviously he's deemed it to be so and uh two bros put out a statement which they did put out a statement, which I found very sort of like so vague. It was it's like a pretty, pretty bad statement, but I think they would have been better off just not posting it at all. I think it was on bodybuilding without board. Oh, yeah, there we go. Here we go. Yeah. Um, and they actually haven't deleted any of the comments, and the comments are brutal. Um, for two bros. So he's basically just said that a male athlete was ejected from the venue whilst attempting to access restricted areas while females were dressing and tanning and was refused entrance in accordance with two safety policies. Basically they painted him out to be a fucking sexual predator when he's there to talk to his wife. Um, apparently it's not the first time he's acted in this manner at an event. Um, and apparently abusing a young female member of staff during a previous event. Obviously, we don't know what that don't know what previous that's event about. is, yeah. but um, uh, obviously, it's quite wild allegations, mate. And uh, huge wild allegations. So he wanted to. I wanted to inform his girlfriend about the whereabouts of where she where he was. That's a, go down a second. That comment there. That one there. Yeah. Why did he think he was just above the oh, see, This is what I mean. So some yeah, people are some people are back in two bros, not many. Yeah. Um, and then the majority are just ripping two bros. Um, and obviously there's videos on like Nick Strength and Power, Foo Ads podcast, pretty much fucking every bodybuilding channel you can you can imagine had spoken yeah. and just said like apparently that their their thoughts are that two bros should be stripped of the IFBB. Um, yeah, and uh, that they should give the card and the route to the Olympia, to uh, to a different federation, um, which is all a bit mental. And obviously we don't know until sort of the police get there, get their shit straight. Um, the IFBB put out a, a statement as well. They did, mate. Yeah, they did. Um, so the IFBB just said something about um, they're waiting for details from the police, uh, but they want all competitors to feel safe. They turned the comments off because I think everyone was was tagging two bros and just slandering them. Yeah. So it's all. I'll pull up Michael. I'm sure Michael's posted something. I know he's basically said that he's not going to talk about it anymore. Um, until the police, because he's, he's it's a legal matter now. Um, is anything still on his story? Just the post that he put up there. So just this going guy. through there. They are now lying on the incident. Regarding on the comments of the comments cameras or witnesses, and in addition to that, accusing me of being some predator just to save face of what I did. I will no longer be discussing this issue as I'll have my lawyer take care of it moving forward. Only remark I have is this it is, is this that this that disgrace will disgrace will be brought to justice. Only remark I have is this. Oh, it doesn't make sense, but still. Um is this that disgrace? Um <laughs> But you know, it yeah, a bit a bit crazy. Um I'm sure there's something mental. Yeah, man, he got beaten up, bro. But he got fucked up. He was saying some stuff though, mate. He was <laughs> going in. He was going in. Um, oh, wait, I, don't, I want to make it out he was he was going in to be fair to him. He was like putting pictures up of like the two bros, uh also the actual Braywood Leisure Centre compared to the Arnold's and then go yeah. like he's putting it all up saying why do I have to pay £60 for this and £50 for this and saying like I said it seems UK bodybuilding's going backwards um, all this sort of stuff but then again is he actually saying anything that's not true I don't know. even even if he is they sh they can't do this man they can't fucking look at him on the floor there that's a Braywick um, so he got Fucked up, like royally fucked up, in front of everyone, in front of his missus. It's just, yeah, man, that's not. He can't be doing that. Just he said, he's a top, he's a top, him, not even the, not even the fact he's a top six Olympian. The fact that he's, he's not done anything to. Well, he's obviously said some shit, but he hasn't done anything to to deserve. Mate, and anything. at the end of the day, mate, it's just an opinion. That's exactly. all it is, mate. That's exactly. just an opinion. Like the show's still gonna go exactly how it was gonna go at the start of the day, and people are gonna have the exact same opinion. It's just the fact that he 
wanted to say, say his opinion on his page and now he's got beaten up for it. So if you put it in that perspective, who's in the wrong? Yeah. <laughs> it's um I'm excited to see how it kind of unfolds. But oh. mate, I I just um I was hoping he's all right. That's the main thing, to be honest, because obviously a broken rib. Yeah, of is, course. If that if that stops break. him from prepping and competing this year, he can get quite a lot of money from them. Oh um, yeah, mate, mate, yeah. Definitely. That's loss loss of income, so he can he can make quite a lot of money off two rows for that. Um, or if the security company's separate, I don't know, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. Moving Again. swiftly on to the uh, to the third best, the third the Arnolds. The Arnold, so obviously this isn't a amateur show. However, it's a big fucking show, so we're going to talk about it. Um, I have already got Top it. three. Very good. There was some controversy here, mate. People thought um, Tonio won. I wouldn't and... give it to, From the back, I would probably give it to Tonio. Um, I would say so. He, he did look really dry, though, mate. He looked real good. Yeah. Vito was just... Vito just needs more stuff. I think I think Rafa looks worse here than he did in Ohio. No, I do agree. He has like less pop to him. Yeah, but I think I don't know if it sounds the tan, but he looks way more glazed in Ohio. Like I don't, he just looked better. But yeah. um, yeah, it's a little bit less detail. But then again, mate, he might be pushing for. I don't know. Just seemed a little bit off compared to Ohio. But yeah, it, it was a really really good standard show. I think good veto for his pro debut looks ridiculously good, and I think he's. Kind of shut a lot of people up. Um, oh yeah, good. I'm glad, mate. He has got a great ring on him. Yeah. Oh shit! I didn't see this. Sick. Swear well, 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 PCA Yorkshire, mate. They need the they, they need the um the UK DFBA guy to go. Guys, guys, spread out, guys, spread <laughs> out, guys. We got loads of room. <laughs> um, you are now being judged. No, a good veto looks really good on his own, but when he's next to these guys, it's like, okay. There's yeah, like, he just loses a little he's bit. Still, he's still pretty young, man. Yeah, mate, he's really young, but he just loses sure he's a little like bit. 26, 27. Yeah, he just, as you can see, just from like a density perspective from the rear, mate. Like Tonio from the back, look at that. I'd give it to Tonio from the back. Yeah, mate, mental. Of course. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see Tonio at, at New York Pro with Nick. I think Nick will, will beat him, but I think it's going to be a lot closer Nick. Most people think. I think so as well, mate. But I think Nick will just about edge it out. To be honest, for Nick, Nick I, I think it will right be. Now. I think it'll be quite clear that Nick will win. But I think, yeah, it's, it's going to be close. After seeing this, I think it's going to be closer than than I thought. Yeah, it'll... Tony looks really, really good here, mate. And on the professional photos, he looks really dry, mate. Like condition wise, he looks so good, so so good, mate. So, um, obviously, good Vito on his own looks fucking phenomenal. Quads are stupidly good. Oh, there we go. So uh, Raphael appears to be soft in the back, which is what obviously what we so spoke about. It's a little bit less to him from the back, but yeah, yeah, man, very good, very good. Not a fan of the trunks. Yeah, velvet. I was thinking, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm... yeah it's just weird, have that a, weird, like... a bit of a weird cut as well. I feel like they're covering too much. Mm, no, I agree. Because his glutes are in, I'd want to fucking show that, mate. Yeah, man, I completely agree. Great rig, though, mate. Quads are in, obviously. Exciting. Really, really exciting physique. Um, hold on, go the other way. It's Tonio. I don't know, mate. I, I, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, Nick Walker sees this like, oh, mate, I don't know, man. I think I, I want to see the scorecards, to be fair, but I think it could have been pretty close between him and Raph. I think it was a toss up, mate, to be honest. Toss up, mate. Um, from the back. Tony all day. I think from a complete perspective, I think probably Tony have had it in my opinion. Um, but then again, Rafa was really good, really, really good. Um, Actually, look at this, but yeah, I think that's the shirt photo that I saw, mate. From the front, as you can see, look how dry he is, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you can just tell that like, Rafa's holding a little bit of like fluid, but yeah. Yeah. So, you, come on, mate. You, you see what I mean, don't you? I'd, I'd give that shot to, to Tonio and Rafa. That's yeah. one of Rafa's best shots. I know, man. That's the thing as well. So, and from the rear as well. I'm not really impressed little... by either of them. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. All right. All right, mate. Cheers, bro. Brooke. Cheers, bro. Cheers, my man. Appreciate it, mate. Um, No. That's really, really Tonio's job through the glutes. Tonio's job through the glutes and hands. 
mate, I'm I'm pretty surprised actually. Like I looked at these and I was thinking this has got to be Tonio's. Like I'd like to um, see they post the school cards. I don't think they did. I don't know, mate, but I wouldn't surprise me if they don't, to be honest, because I'm not gonna yeah. lie, it wasn't really No, it's it's really, really good sounding, mate. It seems to get Rafa seems to be getting better as he poses because this is it's just like yeah he probably drives off a lot when he poses yeah mate no, he's still coached by, coached by Neil and Neil like runs them through posing um so I'm assuming he's just like been hammering it backstage yeah man you sort of similar start. to what we were talking about with like Heck the um yeah man well that's what mate that's what I sort of do with Lewis I just pump I was going that's what I do with Lewis mate he looks better as he poses so. A lot of people do, though, mate, to be honest. It's so underrated, mate. Like, r- pumping up and then posing, doing rounds. It's so underrated. Is there sport. anyone anyone in the, in the classic division? Mate, the classic dude, mate, he won. Bro, yeah. where's his place? Pro debut. Fuck Mental. Yeah. Did he win? He hits a side chest now. I don't know. I don't think he did, but uh, sorry, but uh, he did real well. Um, look at that, man. Yeah, wicked, man. I mean, his back lens. I think his back shot was it. I think I looked at this and it was his back shot compared to his uh, obviously his front shots. His legs from the back. Jesus. Yeah, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, it was just his back like, compared to his front. Yeah, it's just his back was a little bit now, but like other than that, mate, he looks fucking mental. No, it was sick, mate. Um. Yeah, obviously they've got the Detroit Pro next. Yeah, and then after that, it's the, the next big ones like the New York. Yeah, I think so. Detroit, anyway, Detroit Pro is going to be pretty cool. It's like it's only an open bodybuilding show, so mm-hmm. should be cool. I think. Oh, what's his name? Martin Fitzwater is doing it. Back after a year off, mate. Martin's doing it. I think he'll look really, really good. Um, He's class, mate. What's his name? Some fucking decent athletes in it. Yeah, it'll be good, mate. This year's going to be really, really good. Like leading up to the Olympia, especially with obviously now. The qualification being you have to win a pro show, like there's gonna be more people competing, more people like better head to heads, which is really good to see, rather than like people just competing all, all over the gaff to get points. It's gonna be like better head to heads like that, like Rafa and Tony are going head to head against each other now. So it's gonna be good to see for sure, mate. It's gonna be good. But this this year's Olympia is gonna be very, very good, mate. Very good. Cannot wait. But rounded off everything. PCA, Granite City, can't fit Granite City. Granite City. PCA. Yeah. And then obviously two rows, two rows instant, and then the Arnold's there. But thank you as always. Thank you as always, guys, for listening. Episode 15 is a wrap. Um, we're going to go through PCA Scotland next weekend. Um, a two bro show next weekend, or is it just? Yeah, I don't think I don't know actually. We'll have a little look anyway, but if there is, we'll have a look through there. But um, on Friday, we'll do it on Friday and we'll um be releasing that. That'll be sort of a rate you physique QA sort of one, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And- but um, other than that people have a fantastic time thank you for listening and we'll see you in like subscribe five star ratings tag us on your stories i forgot to mention see you in the next one big love